In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step roadmap and every free resource that you need in order to become a ethical hacker and bug bounty hunter. Ethical hacking is one of the most sought after careers and that's probably because of their six figure salaries. And I think it's partially also because of the fact that there are a lot of jobs that are in demand and not a lot of candidates to go through. So if you want to become a cybersecurity professional and especially if you want to get into web hacking and bug bounties, this video is for you. And let me make sure that I explain just because this is geared towards bug bounty hunters it doesn't mean that your only output from this video is to become a bug bounty hunter you can also use these resources to get into web hacking becoming a pen tester red teamer or even get into appsec engineering as well and i personally from experience know that it's not really easy to jump into a new career and learn these things on your own without the guidance and it could be mentally draining so don't worry i got you and hopefully these resources help you get to where you want in your journey and don't worry if a name of a resource that i mention or some sort of a platform that i mention doesn't make sense every resource that i mention in this video is going to be in the pinned comments of the comment section to so just scroll down go to the comments click on the link that you're looking for and enjoy so before we can jump into the hacking portion of this video and talk about how you can become a hacker and learn the skills we need to cover the fundamentals and this starts with the networking aspects of this and i think you need to really understand how a network is set up and this is actually a free module that you can get on hack the boxes academy i understand that this is unlocked and it costs you 10 cubes but if you finish their onboarding section of this site and you give them some of your information about your profile of who you are what you hope to accomplish they give you enough cubes just to be able to unlock this and use it and it's only 10 cubes and it covers all of the basic things that you need in order to understand what is credit for a network so this is the first thing that you want to do also shout out to ipsec he is a co-author on it he's an amazing hacker so he's a co-author and i highly recommend it especially with his name being attached to it so this is one of the fundamentals you want to learn but next you want to understand the web fundamentals web is going to teach you how their websites work and try hack me also has this on their free website you don't have to pay for this again every resource that i give you in this video is going to be absolutely for free and this is also free as well like i mentioned and this is going to cover how the web works what is dns how does dns work and what happens when you make an http request how does a website work and then it puts it all together for you and the question here that you need to answer for yourself after you have finished those two courses is to be able to say what happens when i type in www.nahomsec.com into the browser what happens on the network end, what happens on the dns end, and how is it all put together and show me the website that i'm looking at so those are the web fundamentals and network fundamentals that we need to learn and if you're coming from a networking background or some sysadmin background those two should be very very easy but brush up on those skills a little bit and then we can move on to our next step the next thing that is also fundamental for us to learn here is how to use a linux operating system a lot of people here recommend using kali linux because it comes with all the tools that you need but honestly and ubuntu by itself is good and for this case i'm going to suggest going into over the wire going to the abandoned module right here clicking on it and this will help you learn the basics of linux commands and it's really really in a fun way to learn and it requires you to ssh into a box but it also shows and covers the basics you need to know with linux so so far we've done the three of the basics and now it brings us to our fourth point which is coding this is a very controversial topic do i need to do coding for cybersecurity? In short, the answer is no, but also if you don't learn how to code, you're going to face a lot of limitations and it's not going to help you in the long run. So I personally think at least learning how to script, which is type of coding that just helps you automate your work is really, really beneficial. And it gives you some sort of a different perspective on the problems that you're going to be facing as an ethical hacker. So for this one, I'm going to recommend looking for free code camp. They have an amazing course on learning how to do bash. And also if you want to do Python, which I also highly recommend, you can just change this to Python and they will also have a course that is under a few hours, under five hours that you can learn Python for beginners using freecodecamp.org. So those are your best tools to learn how to code. And honestly, if you want to go this step further, what I would recommend is come up with a project and a problem that you want to solve and do it in Bash or Python. So for me personally, when I was trying to learn how to do Bash six, seven years ago, I came up with a scanner that scanned stuff and automated my entire recon process as a bug bounty hunter that looked for companies' domains and vulnerabilities automatically. And I called it Lazy Recon, which became later on open source. But I did that for myself personally because I was tired of 
doing all these commands one by one and alone and i was just typing in them every time and i just wanted to automate that entire process so that was a problem that i had personally and i wanted to solve and i did it through bash so here so far we have covered all of the fundamentals if you want to go a step further what i would recommend is going to DigitalOcean, and I will link down below $100 on me for free. What you wanna do is go to DigitalOcean, go to Create, go to Droplets, and create a blank server with nothing on it and try to create your own website and point your own domain to it. This is all gonna cost you about $25 to do, but honestly, there is a lot to learn by spinning up your own web server, pointing your own domain, creating your own DNS server, and just doing all that together. So that's a bonus project to do on your own. It puts everything that you have learned into a test. It's something I highly recommend, especially before jumping into the hacking portion of this video. I know this video is very focused on web specifically, but I also wanna talk about Pico CTF because they cover a variety of different skills and i think honestly if you're new and you don't know where you want to go with your ethical hacking journey pico ctf is a good place to test that out so pico actually gives you a lot of different categories from web cryptography reverse engineering forensics general skills and binary exploitation and doing these different challenges is going to expose you to different skills that you may pick up and enjoy and be passionate about so if you don't know what you're passionate about you want to figure that out pico ctf is a really really good place but if you're here for their web exploits and just learning the web basics then going to the web category alone gives you the web knowledge that you need that's also very useful for hacking itself as well but now that we've covered pico ctf let's talk about the other resources themselves the first one that I want to go back to again is over the wire, but this time we're not going to look at Bandit. We're going to look at Nadas, and I think that's how you say the name, Nadas. You want to go there. Nadas is going to be your basic web exploitations. There are over 30 levels, 34 levels to be exact on this website that are going to help you with your hacking journey as a web hacker. If that's not enough, we're going to take a look at Hacker 101. It is a little bit outdated, but going to their CTFs, they have a ton of cool and different CTF levels. They are very, very focused on bug bounties and web exploitation, but a lot of these are really, really helpful. And honestly, as someone who has contributed to a lot of these personally, I highly recommend them. And I think if you go through a lot of these, it is going to help you become a better hacker. Now we can talk about the last two options here this one hack the site.org is one of my personal favorites it is also very dated i used this 10 12 years ago to learn the basics but honestly looking back at it a lot of the stuff that i've learned from this from their basics the realistic have been a place where it has given me a lot of the fundamental knowledge that i use nowadays so i really really recommend them i recommend going through all of their basic and realistic challenges even though they may sound a little bit too easy or not really something that you can be useful i promise you fundamentally it all makes sense but now let's talk about the very last resource and one that i know a lot of people recommend which is websec academy this one is one of the best resources to learn everything that is related to web they have everything from api testing to sql injections and north sql injection they teach you xxc cross-site request forgery xss they are very focused on what i call a point and shoot like a video game they show you a page and they ask you to look for a specific vulnerability after you have learned about that specific vulnerability so for example here they're going to teach you what a cross-site scripting is and then you click on the view xss labs and it's going to give you all the labs that are for cross-site scripting and honestly it's going to be one of your better resources and last but not least if you have done all of these resources you want something brand new and different myself adam langley and john hammett my fellow content creator and hacker friend we have put this amazing site together called hacking hub where we create hubs and challenges based on real world scenarios it is a lot more challenging than your typical bug bounty or ctf levels that you will see but it is also a great resource that gets you to think a lot more outside the box and it is also based on real world examples so give that a try that is also absolutely for free again everything i have named in this video is going to be pinned in the comment they're all 100 for free or there's some freemium attached to it you can do it with zero dollars you can become an ethical hacker today all right that's it do me a favor if you like content like this drop me a comment and tell me what other resources you want to see in the future video and i will see you all in next week's video on monday peace